This is Take 5. I'm Wayne Thibodeau. We posed five questions to the three candidates who want to be mayor of Charlottetown after the November 3rd municipal election. We now chat with Philip Brown. So we're here with Philip Brown at his campaign headquarters on University Avenue in Charlottetown. And Philip, first of all, why do you want to be mayor of Charlottetown? First reason is very simple. I want to serve the people of Charlottetown. Uh, I want to be ser I want to serve them, not to be served by them. And secondly, it's if you look at politics, municipal politics is ground level representation, and people can get can get very involved with what's going on in their municipality or in their community at the municipal government level. And that's why I'm, I put my name forward this time and in 2010, and also served as a councillor from 2001 to 2006. What will your first priority be should you be elected mayor? I have four priorities, and my first priority, as I've said at the door, at the doors that I've, I've visited thus far, is that if Philip Brown is elected on November 3rd, Next day, Mayor Brown will ask council to amend the elections uh, bylaw to make the mayor's office term, two terms. Term limits for the mayor's office, two terms, and a term is four years. And if I'm re-elected the second term, eight years. Plenty of time to lay out short-term, long-term goals. But at the end of it, it opens it up to new people, new ideas, new, uh, new blood, and new energy. There are some in the city who are concerned that somehow the downtown gets more than the outlying areas or that all areas of the city are not treated fairly. If you were elected mayor, how would you address those concerns? Uh, yesterday, we sent out a press release, just as an example of uh, uniformity for the city. And right since July 12th, I've been talking to residents, and they were bringing up snow removal back in the summer. Uh, I know it was a very difficult winter, but we had a, no different back uh, 2004 when, we, when, uh, when the city and the whole region experienced uh, white wan, but it was about the cleanup, downtown, out in the burbs. I want to make sure that the uniformity continues for the downtown when, it talk, when we talk about cleaning up our downtown streets, our sidewalks, our parking lots, is that we provide 24-hour service downtown like we do out in the burbs, and that is best is a is is a is an area that I want to address as so, if I'm elected as soon as possible, right after my priority of committing to two terms for the mayor's office. And there are lots of great areas in the city of Charlottetown. What's your favorite area of Charlottetown and why? The, the, the most favorite area for me is is a, is the waterfront and Victoria Park. I want to make sure there's more connect, uh, connectivity between those two areas because I've always referred to. Victoria Park as the crown jewel of her parks and it's it's a park that's owned by the province but managed by the city of Charlottetown and so Islanders see it as their park and to leave it as is is what people have told me day after day door to door we don't need all these big studies to look at uh, a new entrance or uh, a stop the park in, in certain areas, leave it as is. But there will be an opportunity for us to look at that park in a, in a greater area when the province finally vacates the Prince Edward uh, home and palliative care. So there's an opportunity for us to make that, turn that into a green area. One last question, number five. Tell me something and tell our viewers something about Philip Brown that they don't know. Well, I'm committed, and I'm committed not only to my community, I'm committed to my family, I'm committed to my work. I love teaching at Prince Street School, great kids up there, great staff. Uh, I have a commitment to our family business, E.B. E. B. Brown's Transport and Crane Service in Atlantic High Span. And what I like about being committed to this city is that both my wife and I grew up in this city, and our kids are living here, and we want to make sure that they stay and live here bring up a family, go to work here, and play here. Thank you very much, Phil.